I can hear the vibration on the tenors. We, I think we can all hear that. Right. But I don't personally hear the vibration on the bass well. And uh, and sometimes if I'm standing back from another player, I can oh I can hear the vibration on their in their bass. But when I'm right at the bass, I don't hear it so well. I on the tenors, I'm doing the vibration method, so to speak, mm -hmm. by bringing the frequency slower and slower until it's in tune. And on the bass, I'm doing a little more trial and error. Hey, everybody. During the construction of the bagpipe tuning suite that we recently released here at the dojo, I had the amazing opportunity to sit down with Jack Lee for an hour and talk with him about piping. And you're going to hear an excerpt of that today. Jack has been a huge mentor for me ever since I met him back in 1998. And he, I think in my opinion, is one of the great pioneers of, you know, uh, just North American great bagpipe sound. And that's just my opinion, and it's something I always revered him for. So anyway, we'll sit down with him for a few minutes today. I'll give you a, a sneak peek of what we talked about. Uh, if you're interested about our bagpipe tuning suite, where you can get 11 of these hour-long interviews, along with a whole bunch of other cool stuff, check out uh, pipersdojo.com slash tuning now. But uh, without further ado, let's hear uh, a little bit from Jack Lee. So, like, Jack Lee, you've been playing a long time. You're famous. And, like, on a daily basis, you're still just practicing a little bit of the basics of bringing the drones in and out. And just and are you like me where I can hear the beating between the drones, that sort of, like, wah-wah sound? And then I know I have it right when I can't hear those anymore. Is that still how, or is that how you would think about it? Or do you have your own? Yeah, I, I partially think that way. I have, I can hear the vibration on the tenors. We, I think we can all hear that. Right. But I don't personally hear the vibration on the bass well. And I, and sometimes if I'm standing back from another player, I can, oh, I can hear the vibration on their the bass but when i'm right at the bass i don't hear it so well i on the tenors i'm doing the vibration method so to speak mm -hmm. by bringing the frequency slower and slower until it's in tune and on the bass i'm doing a little more trial and error up down better worse finding it decreasing swaths at it until i can find a smoothness there yeah so slightly different technique for the bass versus the tenor for me so it's still even at your level of play and tuning you still find the bass is harder to get in than the two oh, no tenors question. for sure right <laughs> that's just a fact of life i think it is a fact of piping life no question yeah. i think the bass is be is a little deep for our ears we yeah. don't naturally hear that low or something and i've never met a piper yet i don't think that can just do the bass very easily to me, the ticket to success on the bass is having the two tenors together, but more importantly, with low A. Low A right. and tenors, boom. And then you've got a solid kind of a sound to dial the bass into. But if you don't have that right, it's bass is very difficult to do for sure. Gotcha. Okay, so we've been playing the drones for a minute or so. Then what happens? Okay, put the pipes down. Grab the chanter and give it a toot. So I, in other words, I put it in my mouth. Okay. Let me grab my channel. Sure. I don't know what this will sound like. I just put the, I, I haven't played it today. So it's eight in the morning and I do play it early in the morning. So this is my channel. It's just been sitting here, a little slight qualification coming. I have a lot of chanters and one sort of Jack Leeism. I don't play my competition chanter and read until it's competition time because I don't want to wear out my read, essentially. So this is just my practice read and a practice okay. chanter. But this is typical for me. I just have a little bit of moisture on it, one of these canard indicators, which I think works great. So anyway, so in other words, it's not bone dry, and it's not really wet. Yeah. There's a little bit of moisture in it. I'm going to put it in my mouth and give it a two. Before I do that, I'll quickly tell you, I'm checking for kind of two main things. One, strength too hard, too soft, and secondly, high G. What kind of a high G have I got? Do I have a real high G or is it a piccolo? Got so it. this is a good read. It will not be a piccolo, but I want to make sure that there's enough breadth, depth, and substance to the high G. And if there's not, and usually anyway, because I'm a dry blower, I'll give it a small lick. 
and blow it and make sure I have a high G and a, and a strength that I'm going to like. So here we go. Off she comes. I'm just going to aim away from the yeah. microphone. This could be bad. It could be. I'm not listening to the, the tuning of the, the notes. I'm doing the feel of the reed. So I'm going to give it a lick. Lick. Couple little pinches. Not a big thing. Couple little guys to soften it up. So it feels pretty fine for me. The strength is good. So if I was really in, in the mood here, in the mode here, I would put it in the pipes and play it, which I can do if you want. But that's the order of events for me. Gotcha. The, drone, the whole drone thing, a quick check on the chanter, and then I would go to the put the bagpipe together and do it phase. If you're interested in hearing the complete one-hour interview, you can do so as part of the all-new Piper's Dojo Tuning Suite just released here at the dojo here recently. The Tuning Suite contains detailed theoretical practical courses. It contains a 90-day tuning plan. It contains a distillation of basically everything you could ever dream of needing to know about tuning, including transcripts from the interviews here in this textbook. It includes a How to Tune Your Pipe Band course, and it includes a robust triple your money back guarantee, basically our promise to you that within 90 days of doing our training program and soaking in the course, you'll be a great tuner. So I'd be honored if you went to check that out at pipersdojo.com slash tuning now. And if you purchase before October 22nd, you can receive $80 off and a couple of other great bonuses as well. So head over to pipersdojo.com slash tuning today. Meanwhile, Thanks so much for listening and we'll see you next time.